doesn't seem to be anything on this holotape at all. But it's definitely labeled as part of the Deep Sleep Project. Hmm. Okay, let's think about this logically. Either this is actually a high security tape, or it's mislabeled somehow, right? Let's uh, assume it's real for now. They used to make us listen to these whale song tapes while we were using the deep sleeper pods. So, let's see if we can dig up anything on the pods themselves. Documentation, user manuals, Dr. Bernard's designs, anything really. Dr. Bernard designed it to help us sleep for long periods of time and space. It clearly worked. <laughs> Maybe too well. I believe you. I don't know why exactly, but... I feel like I knew it was more than just relaxing ocean sounds. Something just seems unsettling about the whole thing. I'll start to investigate other signals, too. I wish that whale song holotape wasn't... whatever it is. It would be soothing to listen to that right about now. Okay. Uh, I'm from Chicago. Parents moved there when I was little. After college, I went to the D.C. area and applied for the astronaut program a couple of times until I was accepted. Oh, my folks were so proud. Uh, other than that, I had a few relationships, nothing serious. Uh, I had a pet turtle for most of my life. That was pretty serious. I, I don't know, that's the high level overview anyway. I I'm not a weirdo, if that was what you were asking. Just whale song, repeating. So pleasant. <sighs> this world is so peculiar, so dangerous. And I'm just amazed at the fact that life continues, you know? So how did you survive all of this? Now, you're speaking my language here. Observe, theorize, weigh the risks. Learn from failures, adapt. I get it. I absolutely get it. When I figure out what's happening with the USSA, I can modify my scanner to continue finding historically significant signals, or resources. Things that will expand our knowledge of this region, you know? I'm suddenly more optimistic about this strange new world of ours. Okay. After college... Uh... Uh, I had a... I, I don't know. Roger. Automated Mining Services welcome you to the home of industry. Visitors, please...
about all that, it's not really your fault, but there's not all that much to do while I'm in here, so here goes. Wasn't easy reaching the recorder, but I think I got it turned on. At least this time I'm in a section you can see from the hallway. No, oh, I shouldn't have to wait long. But what luck?
false alarm. Standing.
Identified intruder detected. Beginning search.
Chloe? You found something related to the deep sleep mission? Okay, let's see. <laughs> Suspension of living tissue is right. Not sure about the cyclic energy transfer stuff. I guess that could be anything. Two things jump out at me here, though. Something about sensory data transfers and, and the fact that Emerson was the supervisor. What the hell? Okay, here's my plan. I found some old medical data from the USSA, stored nearby, and I want you to look for a copy of my records there. Huh. I think that's a fine question for Emerson, honestly. <sighs> Maybe five or six times, I suppose? Every couple months for the two years prior to launch, anyway. Something just isn't right here. I'm sort of terrified to see these medical records. I just need to relax for a bit. I got an issue of Tesla Science from a trader who stopped by recently, so uh, I'll probably dive into that. Well... Right now, I think we need to track down some medical records. Then... maybe... we can... Oh! Oh. Um, <clears throat> I I'll keep that in mind, friend. Um, <clears throat> that is not how it was presented to us. It was supposed to maintain our ambient health levels, and that's it. Nothing else. The schematics say the pod was designed to help transfer sensory data. To what end? Dr. Bernard was one of the scientists that I worked with in the USSA. He was an engineer, mostly mechanical. I knew he had developed the sleeping pods for this mission, so that wasn't particularly new information for me. But it looks like there's something about the sleeping pod establishing a sensory link between the user and something else. I don't know what that is. And also, Emerson was the supervisor for this project. So he absolutely does know what this was about. In detail. I mean, who doesn't, right? You don't happen to have any, do you? Ugh. Now that would be a warm blanket on a cold night. Whoa. Uh, you're looking at the reigning East Coast champion of the Ruby Ruins, my friend. And yes, for the record, I would love to play it even more. Uh, transfer it to my console? Yes, a protectron has been circling the camp. It, it hasn't approached yet, though, so I'm gonna monitor it for data and then we can go after it. I think it's collecting data about us, so I'm waiting to see who it's sending the data to, if I can. Roger. Stay safe out there. Hearing those whale songs again is a bit unsettling to think how soothing they used to be. 